Uh, I'm Ben Sachs, and I, uh, I made the Perceptoscope. So the Perceptoscope is an augmented reality pedestal binocular. It's kind of similar to the coin-operated binoculars that you would have seen at like Grand Canyon or Niagara Falls, except that it can do full 3D, 360 augmented reality in a space. Okay, so um, augmented reality is a, a technique similar to virtual reality where you can add digital objects to spaces. Um, and a lot of people are familiar with it through the Microsoft HoloLens, but uh, there's a lot of other cool devices that are starting to play with AR as an idea. Uh, what my device does is creates, much like an Oculus Rift does, a 360 3D scene, except that it mixes that scene in with the real world through kind of a, an assembly of optics and lenses that I put together. So the idea is that there's a lot of stories and hidden histories to every place you're in. So how could we create a tool to let you expose those things and see them? And so the idea with the Perceptive Script is you walk up to it, you look through it, and suddenly something that might have been there in the past is physically present in front of you. Um, and in the case of what's on there now, it's more of a fun VR experience, but really I see this as a tool for historical sites, museums, parks, amusement parks, all sorts of places where people could imagine having fun, a fun world exposed to them uh, in the space there. Uh, we're using an Intel Nook, uh, which is a full x86 system. Uh, so I have a combination of prisms and lenses that's used to combine uh, the virtual image with the real world uh, optically. It's kind of similar to how a VR head-mounted display works, but it, but it also allows you to mix in the real world. So that's kind of what the, the optics are doing. Um, and then uh, in terms of how it senses the world around you, a lot of uh, headsets nowadays use accelerometers, gyros, things that are about it sensing the movement of the object and then predicting where it's going to end up. Um, I kind of take a different approach. I use uh, rotational encoders on the axes of the perceptoscope so that it has an absolute understanding of where that virtual camera is pointed in the space. What's really exciting to me about it is um, the entire stack of this is fully open, built on open source web technologies. Uh, we use Node.js uh, as a scripting language to get all of our hardware and encoders linked up into the system and then use WebVR as our render, which is an open source VR rendering engine that actually renders VR in the browser. And what I like about that is you can start thinking about how to expand uh, this device to be more of like a browser to the metaverse, it's, it's, it's a gateway to a much bigger space of information than just any one scene you're developing for. So that's, that's where I think it's going to get really exciting. So, uh, check out my website, uh, perceptoscope.com, or follow me on Twitter, um, at perceptoscope. And uh, yeah, and you can find out more there. Perfect.